Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Lately, I've been doing a lot of beginner guide stuff on Don't Starve Together. I mean, as I always do, I try to help anybody new or anybody that's experienced a DSD and learn a little bit more about it when I can. So recently, I've had somebody post in my co on the comments saying, how the heck do you make an, a science machine day one and or an alchemy machine day one? So let's start with the basics, shall we, and kind of go from there. Essentially, when you explore around Don't Starve Together, you're going to want to make sure the first item you get, if you do if you do happen to come across any type of actual flint, is making yourself none other than the pickaxe. Sometimes you can get extremely lucky, just like I did in this world, and actually find a pickaxe that's basically sitting next to the marble statues. So let's go ahead and grab that. But if you do decide to actually find or can find some flint, make sure you go ahead and make the pickaxe first. The reason for this is because two flint, or if you decide to make something else with it, for example, an axe right away, you're not going to be able to go ahead and mine until you obviously find another little bit of flint. So always make sure that you do that first. Upon finding so, go over to one of the actual gold rocks that you find that has a little gold vein inside of it, and obviously, you know, chop it up. As soon as you start mining it, you're going to notice that inside of that is a piece of gold. Let's turn on my auto collect by pressing F4. And going from here, you just continue to go down the, the routine of actually hitting down these little tiny boulders. So now we have a lot of different stuff. We have enough to make what we want. We have some twigs that we can now make an ax without having to worry. We even have some leftover flint in case we want to make another pickaxe. Next step, let's chop down some trees, shall we? As we look over our science machine, which is the very beginner, all we needed is one gold, four rocks, and just a little bit of wood. So we really don't need much to actually make this happen. So let's go ahead and start. I probably would not su suggest chopping down the small little trees as I think the small little trees are best left to actually grow. But obviously it's completely up to you. So feel free to do with it what you will. Once you get yourself the actual four logs, let's go ahead and why not? Let's just go ahead and chop this little guy up here just to make it happen a little bit quicker. And as you can see, just by half a day in day one, we already have our little science machine. And of course we want to place this in a nice biome where it'll actually be best for anybody that's joining in the world with us or whatever you might want to do. But nonetheless, I'm going to put this one next to the portal. That way anybody joining in the game with me will have a fun time to be able to access the science machine right away. And of course, you there are fast ways to making an alchemy machine too, but let's start off on making the science machine first, shall we? Now that we have our science machine, we can make one of the most trusty handy dandy little things that we can ever get and that's not another than the backpack and now when we roam around on day one we have the ability to make a backpack by just basically going everywhere so there you go science machine day one acquired see you in the next one 